Hello and welcome to another first descended video and another gun build today. So today we are looking at the Albion Cavalry gun. So this gun recently got a bit of a boost. Um, it's still not the best gun in the world if I'm being honest. And if you haven't built something like the Thunder Cage or the Secret Garden or the Enduring Legacy or the Greg's Reverse Fate, I would recommend you build those up first because those are like serious grown up guns. This is more of a fun gun that you can build if you want to try something else and enjoy the unique ability and stuff like that. So let's quickly have a look at the weapon specs first. So what we have is pretty weak numbers overall. Strength and weaknesses, I mostly see weaknesses if I'm honest. So we have fire rate of 451 base. Firearm attack I believe has been increased or not, I'm not sure. But um, 13,469 is the base stack. I have a roll which has increased it a little bit. Rounds per magazine is 80, uh, 75 by default. This in my opinion is bad because this is supposed to be an LMG. Okay, uh, then we have reload time of 2.5. So it has the reload time of something with a big magazine. Firearm critical hit rate is absolutely pathetic at 7%. Like in the last video I made for a gun which was I think uh, final masterpiece. That thing had 20% and I said that wasn't good. So you can imagine how this is. Maybe I'm just spoiled with the Secret Garden because Secret Garden has a 50% base stat. Okay, next we have critical hit damage, 1.25 again, pretty weak, a little, but okay, it's not too much. Then we have status trigger rate, again, nothing special, about the same as most guns, slightly better, I suppose, better than something like, I don't know, Thunder Cage, I think, which has 4%. Weak point damage is pathetic again. Hip fire accuracy, aim shot accuracy, everything is just bad. 72% hip fire, 77% uh, aim shot accuracy. So what I've done is I've tried to fix some of these issues and then enjoy a little bit of the fun, unique ability which has been changed recently, buffed you could say. So what does this do? So when you hit enemies, when you shoot at them, um, it inflicts something called mark on the enemy. Now the marked enemy, when you hit... Uh, the enemy inflicted with mark it increases the critical hit rate maybe that is why they have kept it so low and then applies this buff to the attack each critical hit ricochets to the nearby enemy with the highest remaining hp so the good thing here is when you shoot at the enemy that's been hit with mark it sort of ricochets off the enemy and stuns nearby enemies that have health and stuff like that also it increases your movement speed which they call the horseshoe effect so let me just show you that in action so we have Viesa here so when you hit the enemy notice these guys swaying these have been stunned by the ricochets a few of them okay now they're back up and the horseshoe effect is I think I'll do it uh, while hip firing so you can see the difference so this is us moving here now notice we are shooting shooting look at our speed increase So we get uh, an increase to shooting speed. Now with Viesa, you have the second ability which increases our speed anyway, so you can move very quickly. And in dungeons, it can be fun when you are just running by hordes. But yeah, this effect is available to all the descendants. Okay, so what have I done? You saw all the weaknesses. Practically, there's hardly any uh, strengths for this gun if i'm honest uh, let me see if there is anything i overlooked no nothing nothing is particularly good okay base damage isn't terrible but it's an lmg so low rounds per magazine bad reload time bad hit rate bad damage so as a basic gun it's not very good so with the rolls what i did was i tried to add some more rounds per magazine critical hit damage so we get a little more damage firearm attack Again, more power is always good. And instead of going for critical hit rate, um, I decided to go for recoil. So at least it's easier to handle. Now, critical hit rate, the issue with adding critical hit rate mods and rolls, it doesn't really add that much more. So basically, we have 7% here. Now, if you get a 10% roll, that will be 10% of 7, which will be 0.7. So you're still not even getting 8. And you can stuff all the mods that you want you'll probably go around 10 to 12%. That is about it. The other thing 
that you can do. I'll show you the thing after showing you the build. Actually, I haven't shown you the build yet. Okay, so this is the build. Um, standard stuff, action reaction to increase the fire, firearm attack, rifling enforcement, uh, reinforcement to increase the firearm attack. Then we have fire rate up, increase the fire rate, recycling, uh, sorry, uh, expanded weapon charge to increase the ammo capacity and another one to increase more rounds per magazine. So if we've increased the magazine, we've increased um, attack, fire rate, then we have concentration priority. So I've increased the damage, okay, not hit rate. Uh, recycling uh, genius, reload time improvement, 2.5 was pretty bad. And also because we add this one, it increases the reload time even more. So we added this to help out, at least keep it at the base level. Then we have better concentration, more hit damage, and you saw the very weak uh, accuracy number. So in order to increase that, I have added aiming compensation. And then finally, um, sweeping score just to increase our damage even more. Firearm attack plus 10.6% for five seconds at 100% chance, three stacks. Okay, so um, let me show you the numbers. Now, what we have here is 149 rounds per magazine. So it went up from 75 to 149, almost doubled it. Reload time still stays the same. Firearm attack is 27. This is actually more than the Enduring Legacy, but the Enduring Legacy has a 216 uh, magazine size. Um, then we have firearm critical hit rate at 4.348 times. And I haven't changed the weak point. Uh, recoil. 8%, this is quite a lot by default, so we added the recoil on the roll on the gun. So 8 is not bad. And then our hip fire accuracy, aim shot accuracy, I've improved them drastically. ADS is 100%, and this is uh, 93. So really good to ADS, uh, hip fire or ADS with this. Now, what you could do is, you could get somebody like, let me... I have a preset. Let's see. Enzo. Now, Enzo. What Enzo does is Enzo has a few abilities that can buff up the weapon. So the first skill active summons a buffing device at the designated location, supplies a buff to allies and Buff supply can be used in each other, blah, blah, blah. What we have on the right-hand side, if you see, weak point damage increase 15%, firearm critical hit rate increase, okay? And the fourth ability also increases firearm attack increase, critical hit rate increase, and reload time increase, okay? The last one, perfect support. So what you could do is, let's see the details again. So if you see here, 7 and 4.38, okay? So what we'll do is, we'll put the first ability, get the fourth ability, and now if we look at the numbers, 43% critical hit rate, okay? So it went from 7 to 43. Now it's much better. It's like oh, more than 2 and 3 will crit. And then, of course, you have the horseshoe effect, so you can get more speed. So this could be useful for descendants who can increase crit rate. I believe Haley also does that and Luna I believe also does that now so that is basically what we have here this is basically the best we can do with this weapon if you use it with someone like enzo for example you do get some benefits especially the hit rate now you can add some hit rate mods and then on top of that uh you know use enzo to get even more but you're getting 43 percent you can stuff it and maybe get 50 percent still not that big a deal in my opinion so I went with sort of quality of life stuff, so better aim, you know, a little more attack, faster reload, more ammo, fire rate, stuff like that, just to give it an all right balanced gun. I want to talk a little bit about the identity of this gun, because I don't know what that is, because it's supposed to be an LMG, all right, but the base magazine is only 75, the reload is still high for uh, the gun, I mean, it is an LMG, but 2.5 without enough ammo. If it was 150, I could understand. Critical hit rate is pretty low. Hit damage is also low. Uh, weak point damage is low. Okay, firearm accuracy and aim shot accuracy, I can understand. It's an LMG. It doesn't have 
great accuracy, that is fine. Yeah, I mean, the Enduring Legacy also has the same issue, that is fine, but LMG should have more ammo and a little more damage. Weak point damage definitely should be higher on an LMG. So yeah, it's got a bit of an identity issue. So they need to figure out what the role of this gun is. Because if you want a LMG, you take the Enduring Legacy. If you want an assault rifle, you take Greg's or you take uh, Secret Garden tactical rifle. If you want SMG, you have many options once again. You have Python, you have Thunder Cage. If you want a handgun, you have Nazistra's. Uh, sorry, Nazistra is a hand cannon. Um, handgun, you want Final Masterpiece. Even that Final Masterpiece I made the other day, I'm getting 450k damage with that thing. So, yeah, at the moment, I'm not sure what the point of this gun is. Other than a bit of fun trolling, I suppose, with the fast running movement and stunning the enemies. Because I don't want to stun the enemies, I want to kill them. <laughs> so why don't I just go with Frena and just throw my Q and just kill the damn enemies instantly instead of dancing around uh, with this gun. So, yeah, again, i like to see more changes. Obviously, the problem is they cannot make every gun the same. Otherwise, what's the point? But this is too weak to be any good to anyone in my opinion but yeah that is my opinion if you really want to try out building this like i said build the better guns first and then go for these fun or troll weapons this is the build i've just gone with a quality of life type of build so that it's at least good to handle low recoil decent ammo size uh, faster reload stuff like that. but yeah that's it thank you for watching let me know what you think of the albion cavalry gun this was one of the first guns I got in the game, the Ultimates. And this was literally the last gun I enhanced to four, like five copies. This was literally the last gun that I got five copies of because I didn't see the point of this. But anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.